Hey everyone, welcome to Midtown Comics Times Square. My name is Greg, John is behind the camera, and just like every week before this, we are here on New Comic Book Day to show off some new releases. The video is a little later than usual because we had a wee bit of a snowstorm, but uh, so new releases couldn't get put out until 1 o'clock, and uh, now let's take a look at them. Up first, Neil Gaiman, American Gods, from Dark Horse number one. Uh, the first issue, there's also a trailer for the TV show, which is going to be on Stars. That dropped today, so check that out. You know what? I know a lot of people out there are looking forward to this, so let's give a preview. Attempt number two. Attempt number three. My hands are cold. I'm pretty sure there are quite a few variant covers for this one as well, as you can see there. And then also from Dark Horse Comics is Dark Horse Presents, Angel for all the Buffy fans out there. I believe it was recently the 20th anniversary of that show. It's also Dead Inside and Ether. When we get to DC, it's very crowded, so John's going to be giving you a lot of close-ups. We have a new chapter of Aquaman, which is actually the start of a brand new story arc. There's also Batman number 19. If you've ever asked yourself, how many people can Bane punch in a single issue? Bane, uh, Batman number 19 has the answer to that question. Let me, uh, first of all, check out this cover by David Finch. Beautiful. And so begins the punching. We'll end it on that note. It's also All Star Batman number eight. I'll let John get a close up. Uh, if you check out our blog, blog.midtowncomics.com, uh, in a little bit, you'll see an exciting announcement about this comic, maybe relating to Scott Snyder visiting the store next week for a signing. You'll have to check out blog.midtowncomics.com for more information. It's also Batwoman number one and quite a few other new releases. It's pretty crowded up here, so I'm going to step back so John can get a close-up. But uh, lots of great stuff from D.C. this week. Personal favorite of mine this week, Super Sons, number two, Peter J. Tomasi. Uh, very great writer, especially with the father-son dynamic, and now he delves into the uh, a sibling dynamic where you have uh, John and Damien being very competitive. And it's also uh, Jorge Jimenez, does just incredible animated artwork. Don't want to give too much away. Super Suns number two, lots of fun. And this one has a huge reveal, Superman 19.
Hey again. And now we are joined by Vic. He has two hey recommendations, two new collections. Yeah. You uh, should check them out, and here's why. We have The Damned, Volume 1 from Cullen Bunn and Brian Hurt. Uh, it's only $9.99 from Oni. It's a full graphic novel for only $10. Bucks. Um, if you guys are fans of uh, Images series Moonshine, I would definitely recommend this. I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but the, the synopsis alone has me on it. It's basically Prohibition era gangsters instead of uh, you know doing some bootlegging and you know alcohol they're working on souls so these guys are demons and your main character just happens to be someone someone that just walks the line between both demon and human and wants to broker a truce um this alone has me interested just to read it and the fact that it's only 9.99 you really can't go wrong with something like this guys also we have Volume 3 of the RoboCop series that Boom Studios had been doing. Classic enjoying. RoboCop. Classic RoboCop, yeah. This acts as like an actual sequel to yeah. the original films. Um, if you guys are fans at all, I would absolutely recommend this. This is probably one of the best RoboCop comics ever done. Um, it just it takes the characters, elevates them. It's you, more backstory on the uh, old man from OCP. And Lewis makes uh, is definitely a key part of it with Murphy. It's just a really fantastic series. And those are pretty short-lived series as well, and I think yeah. Volume 3 collects the remainder. The of remainder it. of the series. So it's yeah. only about three volumes. The whole thing gets collected. This uh, also Worth with the, uh, the Frank Miller complete collection that has his original series and then Last Stand. Mm -hmm. it, it's a good time to read RoboCop, guys. Seriously. I mean, you can never go wrong with this guy, ever. So definitely, I would definitely recommend RoboCop series. If, if you can find Volumes 1 and 2, definitely pick it up. I highly recommend it. Also... Check out the damn. You never know. Ten bucks. You can't go wrong. Prohibition era. Demons. Angels. Souls. You can't go wrong. And for all the people watching on Facebook Live, is there anything else you would like to tell them? Uh, well, if they would like to know, Animal Draft House is actually screening RoboCop. Possibly, I think maybe this Friday. Is that uh, Brooklyn and Yonkers? It's uh, the one out in Yonkers, guys. Okay. Um, if you guys love that movie, uh, go see it. It's the best type of place to go watch a movie and then just enjoy the beauty of RoboCop. It is a beautiful Yeah, movie. it's beautiful. It's great. Watch RoboCop again. Yeah, it, it, it makes your week so much better. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> not topical at all, though. No, no, no. Not no, going there. Not no. going there. All right, Vic, thank you very much. You're man. welcome, guys. All My right. pleasure. So, let's take a look at uh, all the other indie releases, aka non-Big 2. We've got some IDW up here. Highlander, the second issue. Uh, G.I. Joe, Mask, which stands for, of course, Mobile Armored Strike Command, as well as Revolutionaries. We also have Star Trek and more. Uh, actually, it looks like we get into Image Comics right after that. But there are a few new hardcover and uh, trade paperbacks available above us. There are more collections up here, including uh, Valiant's Wrath of the Eternal Warrior, as well as uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Deadly Class, quite a bit. And we have uh, a couple more releases from IDW Publishing before we get into Image Comics, which has a huge plethora of new releases. Um, John's going to give you a look at them. So if you missed out on God Country, number one is reprinted again. So it's a head bopper number five. Uh, one of my personal favorites, I Hate Fairyland number 11. I've been anxiously awaiting a new issue, and here it is, for all your Scotty Young goodness. There's also a brand new chapter of Warren Ellis, Declan Shelby, and Jordy Belair's Injection, as well as a new chapter of Invincible from uh, Robert Kirkman. Ryan Ott is still illustrating this. Let me take a look. I'm behind. So. Yep, Ryan Ott is still illustrating. All right, I don't want to give anything away, so we're not going to preview it.
before we get into Marvel and the new releases, uh, the new single issues, there's quite a few new collections. Avengers, The Initiative, Deadpool Classic, I believe that includes a bunch of his limited series. Let's take a look. Yep. Uh, Wade Wilson's War Pulp, Night of the Living Deadpool, Return of the Living Deadpool. Alright. So you can quite a few uh, Deadpool limited series in here. Here's a look at Wade Wilson's War. I'll give you a look at uh, Deadpool and Zombies. So there's Pulp. Here's Night of the Living Deadpool, which as you can see, everything is in black and white except for Deadpool. Nice nod to the original movie or The Walking Dead. I guess you can choose which one it's referencing, or maybe both. And then Return of the Living Deadpool was illustrated by friend of the store, Nick Varela. So that's available today. It's also the unbelievable Gwenpool uh, classic Wolverine collection called Wolverine vs. the Marvel Universe. You have, of course, that iconic Spider-Man fight. Let's see, what's collected in here? I have not checked this out yet. Okay, so you have Captain America, Annual, number eight, which is a big fight with him. Daredevil, I think that may be the one where he puts him in, like, a full Nelson. I'm not sure. Incredible Hulk, 340, of course, the fight with uh, Gray Hulk. And, you know, instead of babbling about it, let me show you. <laughs> I remember this from Marvel Comics Presents, Wolverine taking on Venom. So Wolverine versus the Marvel Universe. Uh, today it's uh, got a cover price of $34.99. So if you love seeing Logan fight his fellow heroes, check it out. Somebody also asked for Gwenpool. Yeah, sure, let's take a look at Gwenpool. Head of MODOK. This is volume two, by the way. All right, I don't want to show off the whole trade. It's also an Excalibur epic collection over here. And then we get into the new single issue releases. You have Uncanny Avengers, US Avengers, uh, World of Wakanda, Sam Wilson, Captain America, as well as uh, Daredevil, which if you started with uh, Charles Sewell's run, you may be wondering how Matt Murdock restored his secret identity. This story arc is uh, aiming to explain that. It's also Deadpool the Duck, Guardians of the Galaxy, Greg Pak, Totally Awesome Hulk, as well as uh, the conclusion to Monsters Unleashed. So let's give a preview of that. At least I'm pretty sure this is the conclusion. ended on that note. Let's get Monsters Unleashed number five. It's also Ms. Marvel 16, Patsy Walker aka Hellcat number 16, The Punisher number 10, Spider-Man Sitting in a Tree part five which as you can see on the cover features Miles Morales. That's a crossover between them. Uh, that's written by Brian Michael Bendis. We also have a huge, literally huge issue for all the Spider-Man fans out there. Issue 25. I'm not kidding when I say it's a huge issue. It's almost the equivalent of a trade paperback. You know, I'm not even going to flip through this. There's a lot of big reveals in this one. If you've been following Spider-Man, if you want to jump on board, if you want to know what's going on in his world, 
I don't want to say anymore because I don't want to spoil anything. So Spider-Man number 25. It's also Star-Lord number four, which has a team up that I never thought I'd see. Star-Lord and Shocker. Uh, Ho Dameron number 12. Mighty Thor 17. And uh, two final Marvel issues, which both contain huge brawls. Venom number five, which the cover gives it away. You have uh, the new Venom taking on Spider-Man, as well as uh, one of the former Venoms, Scorpion. And you also have Psylocke versus Magneto in Uncanny X-Men. Don't want to even preview that because I don't want to give anything away. All right, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you all enjoy new comic book day. Recommend some comics to your friends. Uh, share some comments. You know, let us know which uh, comics you're interested in, uh, which ones you recommend, and maybe that can motivate someone else to give it a shot. Once again, thank you for watching. Be good to each other. Have a good day.